This is my first Christmas as an ordained minister. It is my first Christmas leading these congregations. And indeed, it is my first Christmas living in Oban, having moved here from Glasgow just a few months ago. I was asked to share with you how it feels to be a newly ordained minister at this time of year. There are many things that run through my mind when I've asked that question. Excitement, trepidation, concern, worry that you will get all the services right and all together. But the more I thought about this question, the more I was drawn back to the words that I have preached so many times throughout my life. The words that Jesus says, take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. And whilst I approach my first Christmas as an ordained minister with great excitement and enthusiasm, I know for many around the local communities and indeed around the world, that this is a time of struggle. This is a time where hardship hits home, a time when so many people are enjoying themselves, but for others, they feel the isolation, perhaps that little bit more. They're concerned about their well-being. We are concerned also about the well-being of others, physically, mentally and financially, perhaps even concerned about our own well-being. And this is what is on my mind this Christmas time. In this community, Brian based, Kilmore Oban and Tyree, knowing that in the church we celebrate and we rejoice, but for many it is difficult. And it is those words that I use time and time again to keep me going. Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. What I have thought is, it matters not the content of the services. It matters not the content of the watch night of the Christmas day. What matters is hope. Because that is what the Christmas story offers us. Hope. Hope that no matter what we are going through in life, no matter our circumstances or our situations, there is always hope. Hope from God who reminds us to not be afraid. So in my first Christmas, I am excited and looking forward to meeting people once again. To meeting them where they need to be met. For carrying the hope for those who cannot carry it for themselves. Friends, no matter where you are, no matter where you will celebrate, and no matter the situation that you find yourselves in in life this Christmas, I hope that like me, that you will cling to the hope that Jesus offers. I pray that you would cling to the hope that this season reminds us of once more. And I pray with all of my heart that no matter where your life is this Christmas, that hope would always be there, no matter how far away it may seem. Friends, I wish you a blessed Christmas and indeed a peaceful new year.